long time ago before I was born. She owned an art gallery, downtown Laguna, and there was a homeless man who lived outside of her gallery, and he was there a lot, and people always made fun of him because he had a blanket on his head, and they called him Binky because of it, and then um, my mom was going through like a lot personally, and her mom said that they should do something to help others, do something bigger than herself. So they started making blankets when they heard that there were, like, there's a big fire going on and all kinds of things in Laguna and in Southern California. And they decided to call it Binky Patrol because they want to take care of the invisible people, just like the uh, man who used to live outside of her gallery. There are a few different types of blankets you can make based on your skills. If you aren't really good at the whole sewing machine thing, you can make fleece tie blankets where you get two layers of fleece, cut like strips about as long as your finger around the edge, like fringe, and then tie the two pieces together. Or if you're really good at sewing, you can get uh, six inch wide strips that are like, I don't know, pretty long, about the size that you would need for a teenager or an adult. Sew them together, stuff it with batting, and then put a backing on it like an old sheet or a big piece of fabric and then you have an even warmer blanket, like a quilt almost. Well, I think any age can be important to Binky Patrol. Um, you can be there to help pick up pins, help clean up the trash, help stack blankets and fold them. You can be a senior citizen and still be jamming away on the sewing machines. Moms and their kids come a lot. We're seeing a lot more dads there with their kids, schools, Girl Scouts, baseball teams. Anyone can do it, anyone that wants to help people out. So we have two big events every year on Comcast Cares Day and Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You can find out more details and times and sign up for the events at BinkyPatrol.org. Um, I do events frequently throughout the year whenever they pop up and it's a good way for me to get my community service hours in for school and also a good way to just spend time with friends. I think my mom's goal is to make sure everyone knows they're cared for, that there's someone looking out for them, whether they're a thousand miles away or down the street, that there's always someone looking out for you, whether you're a single mom, a kid, uh, an addict, there's, there's someone who cares about you and wants to make sure you're comforted and protected. Binky Patrol is a great way for people to get their community service hours in because it's simple, it's local, you can bring friends, it's a great get together, and it's for a good cause.